Okay, welcome to the Pico CTF 2020 mini competition. We're gonna look at those challenges here in the Pico gym. And the first one we're gonna look at is this pitter patter patters. Uh, suspicion is suspicious is written all over this disk image download here. We help to analyze this in multiple ways as a blob and as an actual mounted disk. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna look at it as an actual mounted disk. I'll do that with FTK Imager. And and here it is. Okay, so there's FTK Imager. I'm going to come up here, and I'm going to add an evidence item. I'll pick an image file, and I'll get that out of my downloads here. So you'll see at the root of the file system, I have this suspicious file.txt. Nothing to see here, but you may want to look here. It also has identified some slack space that's like space that's allocated but not being used by the file. And that slack space contains the flag, Pico CTF, and then this, this bunch of characters here. So that's one way we could get it. We could like look at that backwards. Another way that we can get this is we can look at um, like a Kali VM or something, I have a machine here running Ubuntu where I've got the file downloaded. The first thing I'll do is I'm going to use strings. Pico flags are pretty long, so I'm going to look for 15 character strings in this suspicious file. I'm going to pipe that through more. All right, we see suspicious file txt. Nothing to see here, but you may want to look here. And then a bunch of gobbledygook. All right, so let's look at that in VI. So nothing to see here, you may want to look here. We see that flag afterwards, the PICO CTF backwards. So we can actually get that using strings. So I'll do strings dash B. Let's go look at this in Unicode. And there is the flag, it's in reverse order. So we'll pipe that through rev. And that will give us the flag in forward order, Pico CTF, be still my heart, with some characters, we're just missing that closing curly brace.